Hey guys, welcome back to Analog Dan. It's been a while. It's been a long break. Um, it's uh, well, it's been a story. Um, Eagle Moss is uh, going into a possible bankruptcy, um, and uh, or administration, as they call it in the BBC in the UK. Um, and uh, this is what I got so far. Uh, I haven't done much in about three months. I haven't had a issue sent out since uh, probably March. Um, so let's get started. This is um, what I wanted to put out earlier was my last issue I had with these doors was uh, when I put these doors on, I would uh, tighten up those hinges pretty seriously there. And um, it would pretty much close would pop back out. So what I did was I loosened up the hinges, the screws on the hinges here, and um, made the door sag a little bit, and it closes fine. And it's kind of realistic because the door sags like a like an old caddy door would, would do. And I got that with all the doors. They're all like that, so you in the back with the new one here. But um, anyway, so this is where I'm stopping at. It's pretty much uh, it, I can't go any further. Um, I am um, at part number 98, and uh, this is the uh, chassis. These are all my figurines from uh, Diamond Select, and uh, really happy how they fit in there. Uh, the steering wheel might be an issue. I'll figure that out, but it's going to be really crimping on the legs there. Um, so it looks like I'll be putting this uh, guy to bed for about six months to figure out what's going to go on with the company. So, unfortunately, I kept this thing uncovered for many, well, a couple of months, several months now, and I got a lot of dust here going on. So I'm about to get a uh, fine-tooth uh, brush and air, canned air, and clean everything up, and then bag it and put it in a, in a bin. Um, yeah, so when I do get this all done, I'm going to have a nice case for it. I acquired this from a company. They were throwing some cases out, and uh, it's a Pelican case, and it measures... Um, pretty much where I want it to measure uh, the car will literally fit within the case. It's uh, 32 inches is a is the car length itself, so it'll fit perfectly in there So I'm happy with that So yeah, I was gonna go ahead and get this all this case all painted up and uh, and redone to make it look like a you know a real um, Ecto-1 case of some kind so but anyway, um the, uh, the other thing is, uh, what else? Oh, I got a list here because I'm an old guy. <laughs> anyway, these are the uh, my um, kind of my points of uh, topics here. Um, as far as the uh, the uh, company itself and what's going to happen to Eagle Moss, I figure it's either going to be uh, they're either going to um, totally go bankrupt and dissolve and become nothing else but um, dust in the wind or um, they will get their um, competitors, one of their competitors to buy, buy them out and hopefully continue these builds. Hopefully the cost will be relatively the same and the, um, and the product will be the same. Um, the um, other issue is that they probably will uh, restructure and come back. Hopefully that might, we might get that news by the end of the year. Maybe they'll be ready to come back uh, in a new calendar year, January. Um, and worst case scenario, if it, nothing happens, no one buys them out and they just dissolve, we'll be uh, left, uh, we left to the buyers to, uh, or the builders to um, start 3D printing this stuff. So when the metal parts will be difficult. Um, I wish I had issue 20, which is basically the hood hinges here and there. Issue 20 is very pivotal. It would allow me to get the hood done, get the front grill put on, and this fender here, and all the all the topping, all the, um, the top plates would be installed. That was like a major bummer when that didn't come out, and I couldn't get that from Eagle Moss. After many calls, they just said it was not available, out of stock, whatever. Um, so, uh, fortunately, I have a friend that has a 3D printer. I think maybe I'll consult him. A lot of the stuff can be 3D printed, um, but the metal parts, the hinges on the hood, the hood hinges are those classic cantilever hinges that allow the hood to kind of uh, move forward and then back in. It's pretty cool. So 
Anyway, these are all the parts. Um, I'm going to be, um, you know, packing it up. I won't be packing it up in that case because that's strictly for a show and to sell. I'm, I was going to eventually sell this in the market um, when I was done. Um, but all the pieces here, I'm going to like pack up for now, dust off, and um, I guess go from there um, and move on to some other projects. I got uh, a lot of other builds on the shelf to uh, work on. I will put another video out for that. Um, anyway, I want to thank everybody for their subscriptions. Um, I will be um, probably um, doing a new build within about you know, a month or so. I don't know what it's going to be. I have a couple. I will probably uh, show them, uh, show the boxes in the next video. And uh, anyway, thanks again for um, watching the video. And I will be um, back soon. All right. Bye. Don't give up on the uh, Ghostbusters build. Um, if you need to sell, I guess you can sell, but I would um, hesitate to do that um, if you can. If you can find a spot to put them in a bin, I'll hold on to it. Um, for now, see what happens by the end of the year. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you.